यार यू एवर वंडर हाउ इजी इट इज टू यूज अ वॉशिंग मशीन जस्ट पॉप इन योर क्लोथ प्रेस सम बटन एंड बूम क्लीन क्लोथ इन मिनट्स दैट इज ट्रू बट एवरी थिंग दैट्स ईजी टू यूज हियर इज पार्ट बाई सम रियली कॉम्प्लेक्स मशीनरी ऑन दी एन साइड आई ऑल्सो वंडर हाउ इट्स इवन मेड वाई वंडर वेन यू कैन फाइंड आउट राइट नाउ राइट नाउ या हाउ ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज जम्प जम्प हियर राइट नाउ ओके या एंड जम्प How did this happen? With the magic of editing, my friend. So this is where Chroma's front-load washing machines are made. Okay. Come, let's unbox all your answers. Let's go then. First begin with the cabinet bending machine which takes the metallic outer bodies and precisely bends them into shape. Next, we move on to a machine which attaches the connecting plate to the bent body. Following this, the left and right top brackets are attached to the body along with the bottom brackets. That's the outer body, but that isn't where the clothes actually go, do they? What's next is the inner drum. We begin with another metallic sheet which is precisely rolled into the circular inner drum using the rolling machine. Another machine then fastens the ends of the circular drum together. A 90 degree bending machine then uses force to precisely bend one end of the drum. Now it's finally beginning to take the shape of the insides of your washing machine that you've seen. Well, if you've ever done your own laundry that is. We then come to the punching machine. This punches holes in the inner drum. These holes will be used to fit in the next part. This three-legged part is called the spider and it is with this machine that the spider is screwed onto the inner drum. The spider connects the drum to the rest of the washing machine via a tub. This brings us to one final step, the inspection, where a technician carefully checks if all previous steps are done right. We then move on to the main assembly line. We have seen how the outer cabinet and the inner tub is made. Now, it's time to put them together and that is where this tub comes in. Sets of bearings are pressed inside this tub to allow the drum to spin. A watertight seal is then added into it to prevent water leakage. The inner drum is then placed inside the tub. The other half of the tub is then added keeping the drum firmly in place. A rotating pulley wheel is also added on one end. that via a belt will help the motor spin the tub around more on that later the tub is now ready to be moved into the outer cabinet along with some other additions like the internal power cord the external power cord is added to the washing machine before other parts are added one of the most important components the drain pump is added to the washing machine this is where dirty water will exit the machine Meanwhile, multiple smaller individual parts come together to make what we call the detergent box. This box is then attached to the rest of the washing machine. The washing machine is almost put together and the drum, the detergent box are all here. But there is one key component missing and that is the motor. But before we get there, some barcodes need to be added to map washing machines to the exact motors they will use. Following this the motor is attached to the washing machine and a motor driver belt is used to attach it to the tub allowing the mechanism to spin the entire tub on command the upper bellow which is where water enters the drum from is fixed to the detergent box next the drain pump we added earlier is screwed into place now that all major components are added inside the washing machine the front panel can finally be screwed into place the washing machine now has a complete look and only a few components remain all the wash cycles and features are useless if you can't control them and that is where the control panel comes in the detergent box gets its own drawer like attachment this is what users can then pull out to add your detergent of choice for the wash cycles before the door is bolted on some water is added into the inner drum to run a mini cycle to check if all components added so far are working correctly Once the water is in the door can finally be added on 
and we are ready to run the test cycle. The test cycle comprises of electrical and functional tests where all major functions of the washing machine are set in motion including checking for maximum RPMs that is rotations per minute. The machine also undergoes a water flow inspection for leakage and a noise inspection for any abnormalities in sound levels while in use. This is also where smaller remaining parts like the top and back panel are added. After the tests are done, stickers are added to the washing machine and a deeper, thorough drying process is done. After a quick final inspection of physical elements, the washing machine is now ready and it is now put in a box along with other accessories like the pipes. The Chroma front load washing machine is now ready to be shipped to stores across India. Wow, after touring this factory, all my questions around washing machine are washed out. So has your sense of humor. Anyway, if you enjoyed watching this, subscribe to Unboxed by Chroma for more behind the scenes videos on your favorite appliances being made.